As the stadium lights went out, Taylor Swift was left alone in the glow of her show. Even though there were still thousands of yelling fans in the air, she felt a cold fear creep into her heart. The name Travis Kelsey, which had recently brought her both happiness and stress, came up on her phone. Hey Tay, his voice boomed through the speaker. The warmth of his voice made her feel better for a moment. Great show as always. We need to talk, though. Taylor felt bad inside. This wasn't their normal recap after the show. Travis, she asked with a shaking voice, is everything okay? The phone let out a deep sigh. Tay, I messed up. I broke the rule. Their rule was holy and came about because of how crazy their public lives were. No talking about their relationship in public. They felt safe there as their love grew. What did you say? His voice was almost a whisper. It was the adrenaline, Travis said, feeling bad about what he did. Post-game interview, they asked about you, and it just slipped out. Taylor closed her eyes and thought about the news stories that were already all over the internet. She held onto her phone tighter even though her hand was shaking. Tay? Travis's voice was full of worry. Please say something. Taylor was able to say, I. I need some time, before hanging up the phone. The tears came quickly and hard, making it hard to see the lights in the stadium. Their love was real and deep, but it was so weak when everyone looked at it. Taylor had always known that her relationship with Travis was risky, but the pain of Travis's mistake hurt her heart more than she thought possible. The next few days were full of rumors and guesswork. They were all eager to get a picture of the heartbroken pop star. Even though things were crazy, Taylor couldn't help but miss Travis. His laugh, his love, and the way he made her feel safe even though everyone was looking at them. After a week, she was surprised when Travis Kelsey, who looked more worried than she had ever seen him, knocked on her door. Tay, I know I messed up, he said in a low voice. But I didn't mean to hurt you. I love you more than a crowd cheer or a goal that wins the game. I will do anything to make this right. Taylor looked into his eyes and saw that he was sincere and sorry. She had a brief moment of hope. Their love was born in the spotlight, so maybe it could handle the sharp light. They might not have broken the rule, so it wasn't the end of their song. Taylor smiled tearfully as she reached out and grabbed Travis's hand. She said in a whisper, let's write this song again together. Their friendship would never be the same again because they broke the rule. But as Taylor and Travis hugged, they knew that their love was strong enough to be worth the chance of having to perform in public again. They began to write a new story in which love was not just a secret tune but a symphony played for everyone to hear. It felt like a sold-out show was going on in the stadium. Behind the scenes, Taylor Swift stood with her trademark red lipstick on exactly. Behind her calm exterior, she was a tornado of emotions. A few hours ago, her boyfriend Travis Kelsey sent her a mysterious text message. It said, I need to talk, which made her shiver. Their relationship was still pretty new, but it was a quick romance that caught everyone's attention. It had grown out of the chaos of their busy lives. They shared a secret that they were able to keep from the prying eyes of the media. But there was one rule that they could not break, they could not show emotion in public. There were a lot of excited faces when the curtain went up. Taylor started her show, and her voice could be heard all the way through the huge stadium. But her stage presence, which was normally very lively, was dulled. She moved stiffly and smiled too much. Each phrase felt heavy, like it was full of worries and fears that weren't said. After the last note ended, Taylor went backstage and saw Travis waiting. Travis's face was filled with that familiar mix of guilt and determination. Taylor, he said first, his voice heavy with sadness. I can't do this anymore. There was hiding and sneaking around. It's not fair to me or to you. Taylor felt bad inside. She knew this was going to happen because they were having an affair behind her back. Even though I knew, the pain was still very bad. She could barely see the man she loved because tears were in her eyes. Travis walked up to her and reached out to wipe her tears away. Oh no, Taylor. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Taylor stepped back, and she let out a sob. Then why? 
Why do you break our rule? Travis looked down and slouched his shoulders. I could not hold it in any longer. The world needs to know about us and how much I love you. Taylor felt a lot of different feelings in his heart. She wanted to shout their love from the hills and tell everyone about it. But she also knew the risks, the ways their jobs and lives could be hurt. I love you too, Travis, she said in a whisper that was hard to hear. But we knew the rules before we began. We knew what the risks were. Travis said yes, but his eyes were filled with sadness. I understand. I'm really sorry. They stood there still, and the weight of what they didn't say hung heavy in the air. Taylor finally spoke, but her voice was so soft it was barely audible. Goodbye, Travis. She turned around and left, leaving the man she loved behind, the one who had broken their only rule. As she faded into the darkness, a single tear ran down her face, a silent sign that their secret relationship was over. The stadium was full of life. Things were tense because it was the AFC title game. Taylor Swift watched from a private box while wearing Kelsey's shirt. Her heart was beating fast along with the crowd. Travis Kelsey, her boyfriend of six months, was a famous tight end who was known for being friendly and having great skills on the field. The pop princess and the football prince fell in love quickly and happily, like in a fairy tale. They made a deal to keep their love strong through their busy jobs, though, they wouldn't show affection in public during games. They did this to make sure that their personal life didn't get in the way of their work. But tonight, something was different. Kelsey was playing really well and scoring scores all the time. With a grin on his face, he looked quickly at Taylor's box every time he got to the end zone. Unfortunately, Taylor broke their rule because she was so excited. She kissed him, which was a small but meaningful act. After a few plays, Kelsey scored again. He really went all out this time. He caught the ball, turned around, and gave Taylor a kiss right back. The crowd went wild, and their cheers built up to a loud peak. The event was caught on camera, shown again on the Jumbotron, and seen by millions of people around the world. Taylor's heart sank when she was alone in her box. She knew they had gone too far. They broken the promise they made and swore to keep. She knew what would happen afterward, the news stories, the rumors, and the endless study of their relationship. When the game was over, Taylor ran down to the changing room, her feelings all over the place. She found Kelsey in the middle of all the party chaos, with his friends cheering him on. When they looked at each other, the noise stopped for a moment. As Kelsey watched Taylor's eyes fill with tears, his smile broke. His voice was full of worry as he asked, What's wrong, babe? We broke our rule, Travis, Taylor finally said through tears. We promised not to do this. Kelsey hugged her, and the smell of sweat and success made her feel better in a strange way. Yes, I know. I was caught up in the moment. I'm sorry. Taylor said yes, and Kelsey could feel her tears on his shirt. Don't worry. I also did it. I just. I don't want this to make things hard for us. Kelsey put his hands around her face and wiped her tears away with his thumbs. No, Tay, it won't. We'll make it through this. Our love is stronger than all the rules. Taylor forced a weak smile, but her heart was still heavy. They talked and thought about a lot of things. She felt the same love and drive that drew her to Kelsey in the first place when she looked into his eyes. They might be able to get through this storm together.